Mikey, welcome Hello. here to Stripe Tour New York. Yes. How's your day been? Good so Great. Far? Yeah, thanks for having us. This, this event has been awesome. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit about um, Ledger Up and what problems you're solving for operators. Yeah, definitely. So Ledger Up is an AI operation teammate that lives in Slack. We integrate directly with your CRM, your e-signing tool, but we also integrate directly with Stripe. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we take natural language that are in contracts that are complex billing. Um, we convert that structure directly in Stripe, create the invoices, the subscriptions, and then handle the, the collections, the follow-ups, the reconciliations, all of that fun stuff from the contract to cash process on the back end. So natural language to invoke and use the Stripe APIs. Yes, exactly. It's like MCP before MCP was even a thing, right? <laughs> yes. you, you're already doing it. Yes. Okay. And um, from your perspective, where do companies lose some of the, the time or efficiency when they're looking at contract to cash cycle? Yeah, the contract to cash cycle is very complicated. It has mm -hmm. all the way from invoicing to collections to reconciliations. Those out of band payments, checks are always fun to deal with. But the main thing that companies lose the most time in is actually in collections. Uh, collections is a lot more complicated than it looks on the surface. Making sure the invoices are set up correctly, making sure you have the correct uh, email to actually reach out to when you go to a vendor, making sure that that random invoice that you voided a month ago was actually supposed to be voided. Mm. Uh, we've had companies that spend like nine hours just following, just doing collection emails on the on a Sunday afternoon just to, uh, just to their vendors. So is it about simplifying the interaction with, with Stripe for, for like non-developers? Is, is that the, the sort of main value add? Yes, exactly. So what we, what we always say is Stripe has the best APIs in the world, specifically around billing and invoicing. Mm. Um, but Stripe, one of the, the challenges in the current state is it was made for engineers by engineers. It's kind of difficult to bring some of the stuff that you can do via the API into the UI. So what we want to do is we want to enable operators to basically be their own developers. We can take in any natural query or any prompt from a user, creating an invoice, voiding stuff, um, adding a subscription, to all of that fun stuff that you have to do in the UI. We bring it directly into Slack and allow users to just do it directly via uh, our agent. Wow. Sounds excellent. Let's, let's have a look. Show me, yeah, show me how it works. Yeah, so what we can do is we can just add Ari mm -hmm. the same way that you would uh, message a normal teammate, and then we can tell him to so do Ari's any. Ari an agent? Ari is our agent. Okay. Ari is the, 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 the uh, connection between all of these different tools that we have. Okay. So Ari lives right on top of your Stripe. So um, this is our demo account. So we can tell Ari to pull up uh, invoices that were sent in September. So what he's doing is he's actually um, going into Stripe, pulling all this information, using the APIs directly. And since it lives in our database, we have the context about what all of this means. He has the ability to just take this prompt that sounds very typical, you would normally talk to a teammate, and actually go into Stripe, pull that information, process it, and present it back in a format that makes sense to both you and I. And so what's the advantage to using Ledger up over using an, an MCP in a, an IDE or in a, a chat GPT, what are some of the things that it gives you that you can't necessarily get from an MCP integration? Yeah, so one of the, the biggest advantages of Ledger Up specifically is that we integrate all these disconnected tools that are together. Billing is an extremely complicated process that has many parts, contracts are more complex than ever. One of the advantages that Ledger Up has is we have the context about what exactly billing means for you and your specific workflow. Mm. Each company has completely different processes. They use Stripe differently. There's even multiple ways you can make invoices and, or discounts in Stripe. What we do is we bring all of that together with your context, with your data, and bring it directly into Slack and as easy as typing like this. And we can see the result of him just pulling 140 invoices that were sent just Lovely. from our demo account directly. Beautiful. And, and so does this have access to all the Stripe APIs. Exactly, yes. So that's that's a big advantage over MCP, actually. Yes. I think we have something like 10 API calls with our MCP, right? Yes. Because it's, otherwise, it's too much context for the, the model to deal with. Exactly, yeah. So since uh, Ledger Up knows what all these APIs do and knows what you're trying to do for your specific workflow with these APIs, we have the ability to do usage billing, create pricing tiers, create discounts, uh, create invoices, subscriptions, all that fun stuff just directly in Slack. And that's one of the biggest advantages.
That's awesome. And so what's been the reaction from non-technical users when they realize they can kind of interact <laughs> with Stripe via Slack? It's a great question. The biggest one is disbelief. <laughs> the ability that they're just like, wow, I can now do this stuff that would have taken me multiple engineering hours, multiple sprints for my engineering team, they can now just accomplish just through our agent. That's been the biggest unlock for us is allowing these operators that have the creativity that are the ones actually in the Stripe UI, bringing it to their environment and more importantly, allowing them to access Stripe to the fullest of their ability, the same way that developers can. Just had a thought though, if you can access all 600 Stripe APIs through this one uh, agent, how do you safeguard against accidentally deleting or creating or, or duplicate charges or something? How, how do you make sure it's secure in that sense? Yeah, that's the that's the biggest question we get on every mm. demo. Um, biggest thing we do is everything we do is a human in the loop. Okay. We don't actually perform any action without getting prompted by the user. So let's say hypothetically we want to create an invoice in Stripe or we want to delete a subscription. Okay. We'll ask our agent to do it. Our agent will then present back a plan with exactly the steps of what they would do normally. Right. And then you can always edit that plan or not approve it. And as soon as you hit approve, that's our cue to Ari to say, hey, this is what I want to do. I approve this action. Go now do use your API calls. Go actually perform that action in Stripe. So I, so I noticed this was a, a read request, I suppose. Yes. Are they uh, allowed by default and then uh, delete some posts and patch, or you have to approve it? Yes, exactly. Everything that we write or do in action, right. that is only limited to certain people actually in the workspace or the yeah. environment in Slack. Uh, it also always requires a human in the loop. We don't do anything without our customer's permission. So what kind of industries or, or businesses do you see this most uh, used by? Yeah, that's, a, that's another great question. What we see at most by is B2B SaaS companies that are scaling really fast. A lot of hyper growth AI companies that have so many complex contracts. Every single one is bespoke. They have multiple pricing tiers. And it's just impossible to keep track of all this information and create these invoices with one person. So what they do is they leverage Le they leverage uh, Ledger Up and Ari to do this for them. We keep track of all of their subscriptions, all of their invoices, and we become the single source truth for their entire AR, all without ever leaving their environment and saving that ops hire. We've been seeing a lot of things at this conference specifically about AI and, and the future of agentic commerce and things like uh, the uh, ag agentic commerce protocol, um, agentic e-commerce now embedded into um, open AI with uh, ChatGPT. Yes. Where do you see the future of something like this interaction going, which is kind of bridging both worlds, right? That you're using the traditional APIs behind the scenes, but you're using an agent to train and interpret on uh, your own company's yes. logic. Um, what's the future look like? Where, where will it go next? Yeah, I think financial operations are going to be changed forever with something like this. This mm. finally allows operations people the ability to have a technical ability. Operations people have always been a human API, as we like to say. They're just moving data from one system to another, and they know the pain point so well, but they've never actually had the ability to fix it themselves. They never had the ability to create a one-off script to do something like this. So now this finally enables them to have access to all the great APIs, all the developer-friendly tools that Stripe has, all just with natural language, the same way that you would ask ChatGPT a prompt, Ari can now do this directly with for them. It'll save them countless times and just really help streamline ops. Like removing the barrier to entry. Exactly. We, uh, we always say GTM has Clay, uh, Engineering has Cursor, Ops people now have Ledger Up. Nice, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so where can people go to learn more, maybe get onboarded with Ledger Up? Yeah, they can go to ledgerup.ai, um, they can book a demo. We create custom workflows for each company. Each company has a little bit of spokenness with them, they all have complex contracts. What we can do is we can get a sample contract, run it end to end directly through their e signing tool, show it getting populated in Stripe show how they can actually remove this burden from their uh, operational workflow uh, and start helping streamline some of these, these billing problems. Great. Well, Mikey, thanks so much for coming in and, and showing us your demo and speaking to us. Yes, absolutely. Thank thanks you for having so. me.